All right, this is our uh, third hive that's really flourishing. Uh, what I'm showing you right now, there's one bee kind of hanging out at this entrance. Uh, it's an unintentional entrance, but because of uh, the way we built the hives and we didn't uh, we didn't coat them quickly enough, and uh, we were uh, a little bit sloppy a couple nights when we were putting stuff together on our first build. We ended up with some impromptu uh, entrances, and the bees seem to love this one. Uh, once it, it gets warmer, you'll see bees kind of filing in and out of this uh, this entrance as well as the main entrance around on the front here. And uh, we, there was a, a fleet that just left and it's been coming back, so um, it just the activity on the front just died down a few minutes ago. All right, I'm going to give this back to He's working himself in. the cameraman and camerawoman, and uh, we're going to take off the roof and uh, add another super here. Again, this is a worry hive, so it's not super like a traditional Langstroth hive where you add the new hive box on the top. Instead, you lift up the hive and add a new hollow opening underneath the bottom uh, to mimic the uh, inside of a, a hollow tree. They already smoked. He's having to use the hive tool to pry it loose because the bees use a substance called propolis or bee glue to glue got a few beetles in this one too. To, to glue the uh, their hive together and plug up any holes that they may have. Dead bee. So, we noticed that we seem to have a few hive beetles in this in our hives, but uh, as you come in here, they're they're capping this off. Uh, as you notice, uh, I didn't professionally bee space this with a special tool. Um, you can see the. Let me see if I can get it at an angle. Cross. See how how they're building across. So this is going to be real fun when we take this off. It's actually really beautiful. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but in person they, they've built at this angle and it's a consistent angle all the way across the hive. I mean, the sun's in the way. Let me get on the north side of it. And you can see if you can. Really, really cool design that they've come up with. And uh, we're not being too picky th this year. Uh, just let them kind of do what they do. We'll see if we can straighten them out in the future as we get a little better at this. All right, so now I'm going to pull this off. Uh, why don't you give them a little more smoke? Just to kind of out the front. The way they're gonna... There you go. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Plenty. Yeah, see that bee? Oh, come look at this bee. This bee is attacking this hive beetle, chasing him off. So they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. I'm gonna help them and kill those two hive beetles. Okay. We just brought in the uh, special operations team for the bees here. Force multiplier. All right, let's get them. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Now, all right, Trudy, come back over here. In front of my face, meet me. Uh, we could pull this hive box right now if we wanted to. This top one, it's got honey in it. Looks like it's capped off really well down in there. Um, I can get a good picture but, of it. If y'all move your shadows. All right. Yeah, yeah. But we're not going to. Uh, we're gonna let them stay. Let's turn this back the way they had it. All right. So we're gonna leave it on there. We'll let the bees take care of it. Keep maintaining it. Uh, and we'll uh, we'll take it next time. Next time we'll probably take two of these hive boxes, maybe even three, because they'll only they'll keep their their brood chamber right now is in this box and this box, and they're keeping honey up here in these. So we're adding a new box here that's empty 
they'll build down just like they would in a tree and they'll start to make their uh they'll start to reproduce their brood here in this box and this box and this box that's currently there's brood in here this will shift and, and they'll start storing honey here so they'll have three boxes of honey and they'll maintain all the whole box uh, the whole hive uh, from pests just like we saw the hive beetles so they'll, they'll maintain it we'll let them do the work until we're ready to take it uh, probably two or three weeks when we're ready to add another super to the bottom all right thanks